I was a little bit concerned about heat with one of my projects, and um, I thought of some ideas. Um, and I thought I'd just put this out here just to give you guys an idea of what I was thinking about. I, I woke up this one morning and thinking that this would be an easy uh, project to do, and I don't know if this is going to work, but I thought I'd just let it float around there among you guys who are into this. Uh, all this is is a bunch of tubing and this uh, strapping that I got uh, from the plumbing section at a hardware store locally. But the tubing that I'm using here is the type of tubing that's used for uh, supplying water to a refrigerator. Um, I was thinking that maybe I could put something like that on uh, in front of my radiator and if I could feed water into that, uh, then that would at least be a way to get rid of the heat. But then comes the problem of how to uh, get the heat uh, from the cell to this. Uh, I, I purchased a, a small pump uh, which is um, I got on eBay and it looks like this. It's a 12 volt pump and uh, the tubing fits right into it. Um, I didn't want to circulate the electrolyte because I feared that perhaps there is an impeller in there that's made of a different metallic substance that would just corrode with the uh, sodium hydroxide electrolyte that I'm using. So I thought maybe if I can somehow circulate some fluid in there without mixing it, and I came up with this idea. And the same tubing, as you can see, I just uh, cut this piece of PVC out just to kind of play around with it and try to figure out what I might be able to do with it. But as you can kind of imagine, uh, this pump, this pump being between these two items somehow, and uh, therefore bringing the heat from the cell out into the radiator to get rid of the extra heat. So I'd appreciate any feedback that you might have on this.